Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old For wow, time and time and For someone wants to play this for me. Oh my we'll goodness. talk a cup oh. of kindness yet for days of all my son. Last day. Pack of cards for my last day. What kind of cards do you think they are? Monster Hunter cards. Monster Hunter cards. Can you grab mine for me? I don't want to touch it until like I open it. Oh, I also. Oh, where is it? Oh, there. I get to open this too. I think I already know what this is, though. So. No. Don't touch. If only that. <laughs> it's gonna poke the hole, babe. Okay. Do you want me to open first, Here, or open, do you want to open, open, open first? You want a wooden bowl. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I was like, wait, did she want a wooden bowl? Is it cracked? <gasps> it's cracked. Oh. I think that's just a natural crack. It's fine. Oh, makes me sad. Love it. Oh, Thank good. you, my love. I wasn't I sure know, if you I... wanted like one big bowl or like a set of bowls. Or, like like in smaller bowls. No, I, I think sure. with our new kitchen we could use this for like putting our fruit in. Okay, perfect. That would be really nice. Or <laughs> like serving. Like we could full on like serve a dish in here if we yeah. wanted to. Yeah. If we ever do. I just don't know. With the crack I just don't know if I want to get that wet anymore. Like... We can just, like the cutting boards, we can just wash this by hand. Okay. Just don't submerge it for too long. Moment! It's so beautiful. So, Conversation starters for great relationships. So I, I am a cheesy person and I, <laughs> I, it would be fun for us to have little cards that we can yeah, sure, why not? Can have fun with yeah. them and have more. <laughs> Two players, it's a game. Conversation. It's a game, yes. Okay. I want to take a look at some of these. Thanks, love. You're welcome. It's like technically for the both of us. Next one. Your mug. Also, I just like got out of bed, so I look crazy. Ooh, what? Why is it? It's like dirty. What? Ooh, wow. it's different. I thought it was gonna be another glass one, but that one's yeah. nice. Yeah. So did I. Looks. That looks like it's one. The, there's like a see? piece of dirtiness on it. It's just like a white. It's very like matte. It's mm. a cool texture to it. And it's glazed on the inside. It's very small though, I will say. This will be like a teacup. Or tea. Or an espresso. Or a yeah, smaller cup of coffee. What's the best thing you learned from your mother? Aww. These are really good. What's the best thing I learned from my mother? Did you learn anything? To... <laughs> no, of course I did. <laughs> to never take life too seriously. Yeah, that's a good lesson. And always have fun. Make people laugh. Anyways, that is everything for today's um, present opening. I will actually insert right now yesterday's present opening because I did do that. Um, like I filmed it because I didn't want to miss any days because it's just been so much fun. So hope you guys enjoy yesterday's. Okay, so I am actually taking today off of vlogging, but I'm going to put this clip into the next vlog. So um, it is currently Thursday, but I didn't want to miss a uh, an opening of gifts. Oh, I'm so cutie. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to set one of them to six and then... 
Oh, that one's, I, 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 I'm smart. I saw a few times you doing something and I was like, oh my goodness, he needs something like this, so. Okay. You'll understand when you open it. But I've said one to six, and then the only other two are a nine and a 12. So, so it's just whatever roll six I get. or three? No, four. Oh, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? no. I guess this is a 10. 10. Sorry, my bad. 10 or 12, oh, so four, it's yeah. a four, six, six or a four. A five? <laughs> a four! Whoa. That worked so perfectly. Whoa, why am I throwing it? <laughs> Okay. All right, we're done with the dice. We're done with the die. I also have my Nespresso um, advent calendar to open tomorrow. It's huge. Very exciting. Are we opening them same time? Sure. One, two, three, go. I already know what's me. I pointed this out to Francis at the store. Oh, baby. I'm a real candle owner now. I got the wick cutter, I got oh. the snuffer. Penny is doing a little <laughs> bit of Tokyo Drift Boot Scootin' Boogie. How's, is the booty itchy? Is this? <laughs> uh, tablets and smartphones, Qualima. You know what I'm thinking that for? <gasps> for the, the workout room, right? Because I kept on seeing you put your um, phone on the top on the, of the mirror. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> oh my that's god. Smart. That's like so I can, just started doing that. So you can mount that like actually on the mirror. I think or on the mirror or between. Between here. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. wow. I was thinking about that too. I was like, I should just like have something where it's oh, no. perfect. Wow. Hey, Thanks, love. You're welcome. Basically, this is what it is. You, you mount them on the wall, however mm -hmm. far apart you want. You can actually mount them for like an iPad mm -hmm. or a cell phone. Um, and it's allowing you to Yeah, because I use this as wall. a stopwatch. Yeah, because whenever he's working out, I always come in and he has his phone like up on top of our mirrors <laughs> with the stopwatch, so. That's very smart though. Thank you. Mwah. That was the worst kiss ever. Mwah. Ow, so was that. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys when we do something more interesting. Today is Christmas Eve, so um, hopefully you guys are having a good Christmas. And we're going to your parents' house tonight, and that's mm -hmm. pretty much the only thing that's happening right now. Also, a little bit of an update on my family's Christmas tomorrow. My sister Alicia tested positive for COVID on like a rapid test, so um, I think her family is deciding to stay home tomorrow and not coming out to my parents' house, and we're just gonna do like a FaceTime thing, which kind of sucks, but it's best to stay safe. Are you going to come for Christmas tomorrow, my penny? You're so, she's so soft. Mm -hmm. Why is she so soft? I don't know why she. Mm -hmm. I still need to, I need to cut around her eyes a little bit so she can see. Are you coming to Christmas tomorrow? <laughs> Disgusting. So, it is now Boxing Day. It is currently December 26th and I feel really bad about this, but I don't need to feel bad about this, but I feel like a lot of YouTubers do this. Um, I decided this year to not bring my camera to Christmas festivities with family. I don't know, I felt like this year it was a little bit of a sad Christmas, I will say, because we were missing people on Francis' side of the family when we got together for Christmas. We were also missing my entire, like, sister's family for Christmas, and I really just wanted to enjoy the Christmas that I did have with the people that were able to, you know, join. And I think we might be doing something with Francis' family just a little bit later because both his sister and her husband got COVID, unfortunately. And then, like I told you guys, my sister and her entire family, I don't know if they all have COVID, but um, my sister does for sure. And obviously they all live in the same house, so they just wanted to be safe for Christmas. So they did stay home. And it, it was just a little bit of a, it was still a good Christmas, I will say that. It was an 
amazing Christmas. It was nice to spend time with family. We were able to FaceTime with my sister's family. And then, like I said, with Francis' family, we are going to get together with them sometime. Um, we have like a white elephant and we're gonna get together with um, his family as well as his extended family, his aunt and his uncle or his Tito and Tita. And yes, I think that is everything that I wanted to let you guys know about why we are now three days later. But this video started off with me just showing you guys the first, or actually the last two days of Francis and I's advent calendar. On Christmas Eve, like I said, we went to Francis' parents' house. We had a wonderful dinner, played some board games, hung out with the dogs. Penny came and um, they have three German Shepherds and we really want to like get them to be friends, but it's really difficult because with them being three German Shepherds in a house, they tend to have a very like pack mentality and Penny likes to snap at dogs. Um, she's a little bit of a diva. So yes, um, we, we're still trying and we're getting there. Um, there's one dog named Bruno that's a little bit better with her, um, but I feel like she's the problem, honestly. <laughs> But yes, we went to their house on Christmas Eve and then my parents' house on Christmas Day. We just had a really chill, we opened gifts, we FaceTimed with my sister's family, we played some board games, and well, actually the only board game we played was Scategories and what was the other one? The Crew, the new one that I uh, gave Francis for Christmas. But speaking of what we got for Christmas, I figured I would just end this video with a little what I got for Christmas haul. Um, I got a lot of amazing things this year and I am no way bragging. I you know, always say this every year when I do this. And I just want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. It's a very like kitchen heavy <laughs> Christmas. I got a lot of kitchenware. We got towels. We got some dinnerware and a lot of fun things. So I'm excited to show you guys. We're gonna just quickly start off with a few things that I got from Francis. You guys saw them all throughout Vlogmas, but I just wanted to show you guys the things that I remembered to bring here. There were like 12 different things. Um, I got a bunch of earrings, which I already put into like my earring organizer. I got some skincare headbands like you guys saw. We got some skincare like gua sha stone, which I've been using every night. Um, we got this, which is probably one of my favorite things that he got me, and that is this Sagittarius sweater in this gorgeous blue color, which I didn't think I would love blue as much, but I really love this color, and I think I look very nice in it. And he surprised me because he said that he couldn't get the Sagittarius one, but he did. So, very happy with that. Um, we also got the little octopus that goes inside out. Very cute, love that. Um, we got lots of candy, which I have already started. We got some mini eggs, which are personally my favorite. Um, I already ate an entire bag of those, and then these are like half done. Um, we got some Ferrero Rochers, which I need to dig into because I love those. And then he did give me two of these. Things are falling. He did give me two of these. I've already eaten one, and then my parents gave me another one. So. I had three in total and I've already eaten one. Terry's chocolate oranges are just so nostalgic to me and I just love them so much. I've had them like every single year since I was a kid and I'm obsessed. But speaking of all the candy, my parents also got me some Sour Patch Kids, which are one of my favorite candies and also Francis. So he can probably share this with me, but he did get his own candy as well. And then his parents gave us a bunch of candy. It's bad. My 2022 diet is, it's not gonna go very well. But another thing that I got from Francis is this USB chargeable electric candle lighter. Super fun, it's a little scary. Oh God, that is terrifying. I don't know if you guys can see what happens. Oh, that's so scary, but so cool, so helpful. It's nice because I don't have to worry about replacing it. It is just like a one, one and done type of thing. And then speaking of candles, he also got me a set of three um, candle accessories, if you will. Um, I've already used this many times. It's a candle wick trimmer. And then we have the candle snuffer. Is that what it's called? 
Um, it's a little bit difficult to use. Not really difficult. It's just with like the three wick candles from Bath and Body Works, you have to like put three, all three of them out individually. Um, but if I have any single wick candles, it's gonna be really nice. And also like, I just like putting these on my coffee table. I think it's really cute. And then this, I still have yet to figure out what I use this for. Please let me know. Um, it says something about a, a wick dipper or something like that, but I don't know why you'd wanna dick <laughs> dick your whip <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to dip your wick <laughs> oh my god anyways um so yeah and then the last thing that I got from Francis is this beautiful bowl I am so excited about this this was day 12 and it was by far again one of my favorite things I think this and the hoodie or the crew neck and probably the earrings really I honestly loved everything and also the the Harry Potter <laughs> whatever it's called snitch but yes this is from indigo um, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it I'm excited to style this in our kitchen um, hopefully for like fruits and stuff would be nice or anything like that or like obviously when we have company over and dinner parties and stuff we can put salad in there or any sort of dish in there. And then we can move over to the stuff from our parents and from White Elephant. So we did White Elephant with my family, my siblings, but unfortunately we haven't been able to do the White Elephant with Francis' family. So in the new year, when we end up doing that, I will definitely show you guys in a vlog what we end up getting from the White Elephant. I'll probably vlog it. Um, I freaking love White Elephants. Like I need to, get into some more friend groups and just groups that we can do white elephant like if i had more board game friends can you imagine a board game friend group white elephant so fun we could just like gift each other fun board games but anyways from george and ging they told us this year which george and ging if you're watching this i see you uh, they told us this year not to buy gifts we weren't gonna do gifts and then we went on christmas eve and they bought us a gift. So we are thinking about buying them a gift because they are amazing and they deserve a gift. So we do have one thing that we've been meaning to buy them. We just need to do one thing before that, but it's a secret. But anyways, from George and Ging, they did give us some spending money. Um, I spent, I think a little bit of it today, um, Boxing Day shopping, which you guys will see that in the next video. I also apologize if there's gonna be like two haul type videos in a row for my channel. I apologize if it's too much for you, but I really do love showing what I got for Christmas and Boxing Day shopping and stuff like that. I brought you guys along for that. But they also gave us a bunch of beautiful towels. These are just black and white gorgeous kitchen towels. There are 12 of them, which makes me so happy because I can now go in to my linen closet and get rid of all of the just gross, dirty kitchen towels that we have and just have these and then a few others. And it's just gonna be so nice to have all new towels um, that I'm going to try my hardest to keep clean. These ones are gonna be easy to keep clean because they're black, but the, the white ones are a little bit more difficult. Um, but hopefully we can keep those clean. And there's 12 of them. I don't know if I said that, but amazing. And then this was also in our gift, but technically Ging said that she was gonna give this to me. Um, I think we went, Christmas shopping with them a few weeks ago and she bought a pack of these from Showcase and it is alien tape. Basically it's just like a really strong double-sided tape and I really want to use this to put underneath our dining table so it doesn't slide around because currently right now I don't have a rug underneath. I still don't know if I want a rug. I think I might just keep it nice and clean underneath. It's just now the chairs kind of slide around, which I obviously can't put double-sided tape on the chairs because people need to push them in and out, but I'm gonna double-side tape the table so that it stays where it is. It gets crooked all the time and bugs the heck out of me, so we got that, which is going to be super helpful. Um, but that's everything from Ging and George. Like I also said, they gave us a ton of Christmas candy and stuff. And also I've discovered that I love Turkish delight. Turkish Delight candy, oh my goodness, where has it been all of my life? I thought Turkish Delight, like I always thought it was just like a, like a fruity 
gummy type of thing. I've only known it like inside of a, is it called a Big Turk? Is that what the chocolate bar is called? It's like Turkish Delight and it's chocolate covered. That's all I've known. And I didn't know you could just get Turkish Delight on its own with like the powdered sugar on the outside. Oh, so good. Um, but also speaking of kitchen things, what I ended up getting from the White Elephant with my siblings is this right here, which I'm super excited about. This is basically just a thing that you put on your countertop when you're cooking and you can set, actually you would set it this way so that the like end of the utensil would be here and it just protects your counters from putting you know utensils on your counters and getting them dirty, you know? You understand what I mean? Um, but it's just a utensil rest. Love that, such a good gift. And I'm excited about that. And then <laughs> we got some more kitchen towels, y'all. We're gonna be stocked in kitchen towels. I'm just gonna get rid of all of our old ones. And obviously I'm gonna keep the ones that are still good, but we're gonna have lots of kitchen towels and it makes me very happy. And then Francis, I am gonna show you guys what Francis got from the um, white elephant because Technically it's for both of us, but we got some new bath towels and a hand towel for our bathroom. We got two bath towels in black, which I love. I love a good black bath towel. And then we also have the black hand towel. So we, we really got a lot of linens this year and a lot of dinnerware, which you guys will see, which I'm very excited about. And then also along with the towels, we have some like, it looks like it's not homemade, but it's from a small business, Wild Rose, proudly Canadian, love that. Wild is spelled W-Y-L-D-E, wild, um, wildrose.ca, love that. So we have a dry hair shampoo soap bar, and then also a lavender tea tree and charcoal soap. Super fun. Those were the white elephant gifts. And then quickly before we get into my three main gifts, um, this was one of Francis's main gifts, and it's technically his, but it's for both of us again, and that is a new board game, and that is Clank, which, very excited about this. Actually, Renegade Games did reach out to me, which I am very excited about. Um, if you guys are interested in board games, I am going to be starting to do a lot more board game content in 2022, which makes me so happy. Like, I don't know if you guys know how much Francis and I are into board games. We literally play board games every single weekend, pretty much. Very excited to have this one in our collection. It's called Clank and it's a deck building adventure board game. Woo woo, love that. And then he also got a rake and such a dad gift. <laughs> he got a rake and he also got a new wallet as well and some candy and stuff like that. But moving on to my main gifts before we lose too much light. This right here, I'm so excited about. I've been wanting this for a really long time and I just haven't had the push to get it for myself. So this right here is a Google Nest. I'm sure you guys know our Google Nest Hub. Yes. And it's basically, we have a bunch of like the Google minis around our house, but this is like the hub where it has the screen and you can look up recipes on it. You can play music on it. You can turn on and off lamps in your house. You can check the weather. You can put timers on it. There's a bunch of different things that you can do with this. And I'm really excited to put it in our kitchen um, and just have it there as like a hub for everything in our house. I wanna show you guys the color cause I'm really excited about it. It's the color sand, which is this beautiful, like pink toned beige color. And this is it here. It's just gonna sit on our countertop and I'm excited to like set it up tonight. Um, but once we get like the new kitchen, it's gonna look so nice. And it's gonna be very helpful for setting timers and looking up recipes and listening to music and all of those things. So that was one of my main gifts. And then the other thing, I got some dinnerware y'all and I am so freaking excited. I'll probably end up ordering more from this like dinnerware set, but it is from the brand Our Place, which is a really good brand. I've heard a ton of good things about Our Place. Um, you probably know them for their, what is it called? One pot, everything pan, always pan, always pan? Maybe it's the always pan. Um, but you probably know it for that. Um, but they also have dinnerware and like dishware. 
and it is absolutely stunning. So we ended up getting a four pack of the full size plates, like the dinner plates, and then a four pack of the bowls. And this is them right here. They are this gorgeous like cream speckled plate with a bottom in a terracotta. I am so excited to eat at home, to cook at home, to put my dinners on these plates, to have people over to cook dinners on this plate. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. I got a four pack of that. I am probably going to want to get the like smaller plates as well. And then we also got four of the bowls, which are in the same color, the gorgeous like speckled with the terracotta at the bottom. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these. They're so big. It's like very, it almost looks like a dog dish, like a dog bowl, um, but I just think it's so sleek, so modern. I'm so excited to have soup in here and pasta, ramen, all of the things in this bowl, even ice cream, honestly. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. Um, I probably got a few more small things. Like I told you guys, I couldn't, you know, bring everything together that Francis got me because we've been opening it all of Vlogmas and they're all over our house. But I am so happy with everything that I got this year. So happy with everything that we gave this year as well. And it's just been, it's just been a chill Christmas. Uh, I do want to apologize for not filming anything during the last two days. I just really wanted to focus on family and spending time with them um, while we could, you know? And yeah, hopefully that's okay with you guys. But that is everything for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in a few days for the Boxing Day video, which I filmed today and then I'm going to film the haul probably tomorrow because we've lost all of our light. But yes, I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. But I'm like so excited for the show. I'm so excited to decorate them. Have like a legit coffee bar. It's gonna be so